screw it. I'm not waiting for the timer to end. I got things to do. What's up, gang? I'm, I'm foaming at the mouth for today's stream. Foaming at the mouth. Oh my God. We are, <laughs> I think, so close. God, let's fix my, okay. So close to 100%ing Super Market Simulator. So close. I have been, it, this hasn't even been that long term of a thing. I've been playing this for a little over a month. But I've just been playing it frequently enough. And what I have been doing lately is spending like hours a day uh, editing. <laughs> and a lot of that time has gone towards this big supermarket simulator project, which is, as I've said in the previous stream, is on the scale of some of the other like largest products, projects I've ever done. Uh, that like most recent Terraria video, the, the modded Terraria thing. I did like all the editing and stuff like that myself for that video. So that was like a big project. Like a, a lot of channels of my size uh, have folks who edit for them. And I have some folks who edit for me for certain videos. But uh, I, the vast majority of videos on my channel, I edit myself. Um, and Supermarket Simulator is another one of those. So I've spent like the last three days, I've spent like 11 hours a day editing. And I have 20 minutes <laughs> of, of finished product. Uh, and that's fine. Um, a lot of that time goes towards script writing. Uh I'm so freaking excited, dude. I like for the last like week or so, I've been like home alone and all my friends are busy. So I just have no excuse but to spend every minute of every day editing. And I've been enjoying it more than I thought I would. Um, I've been a, a machine. So I think we're getting close to being done with Supermarket Simulator. And that makes a part of me very sad. That makes all of me very sad. Not all of it, because I'm excited to have a video, but I'm I am I'm really gonna miss this game <laughs> when we're done with it. This feels like the kind of game that has like a million others like it. So I'm assuming it'll never truly be over. But like, there's something special about your first one, and uh, I'll never get this feeling again. That being said. I want to beat it. I'm done. I'm done lollygagging. Could you not just record and talk and see what happens? Or is it better to have a script? Um, I mean, for the vast majority of my videos, I just record and it's just footage. I let the footage speak for itself. Um, and it's just kind of a fact of the, the way that the YouTube algorithm works and the way that the vast majority of, of people who, the vast majority of, of the, of the user base of YouTube, um, prefers scripted videos because it's it's a lot more engaging in terms of retention and that's that's what papa youtube cares about so it's just kind of a fact that if you take like 40 hours to script do post commentary for a video and script it it just does better okay dusting my hands off let me uh say hello I'm not gonna be spending very long here exchanging pleasantries because uh, I've got a game to beat. I I don't I hope I don't need my laptop because it just died. Um, all I've got is this uh, pad of paper with my tax information on it, so I'm gonna not flip that around. Um, okay, let me get a handful of Cheez-Its and then we'll get down to it. I'm going to find a calmer music playlist that close more closely aligns with my emotions towards this game. Done. Okay. It's really quiet, but I'll fix it. All right. Let me do some balancing. Awesome. Okay. Let me boot it up. Oh, I got to open Steam for the first time. God damn it. The new box decor. Can we go poster tour? Let me see if I can. 
here they are. It, the, my windows are reflecting off of them, so they, it's hard to see, but... That's them, and my forehead. Okay. <laughs> okay. Forehead goes crazy. Thanks, bro. Forehead tour? No. Only if I make an OnlyFans. Library, supermarket simulator, play. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. God damn, I'm excited. Your room is so sterile. It's actually not. It's the, it's, it's with where, it's because of where the camera is. It looks like my room is way emptier than it is, I promise. It's actually very cozy and lived in. You're just getting a peek at like the only sterile looking part. The vast majority of my room is just like covered in shit. As opposed to that one company I keep getting ads for, yeah, their art is beautiful. <laughs> in my, in my onion, it's water. We're definitely gonna run out of water probably through the stream. It's just a fact of life. Wait for the program to respond. Come on, supermarket simulator. Come on. Come on. Yes. It is such a battle getting this game to boot up. Continue. Can okay. I forgot that as our store grows, uh, the game's performance is impacted more and more greatly. We have sixty-three thousand dollars in a store level of eighty-one. Here's the thing. This is my little entry mat. Um, we still have a little bit of shelf space left. We have like three products worth of shelving right there. That's right, this is gonna be bookshelf, and then <laughs> and then we have um, all that room as well. But like this aisle is, is full completely. Um, so is this, and I think, yeah, freezer space especially is at a premium right now. We have some extra fridge, uh, but freezer space is at a premium. Uh, yeah, we have come a long way. And I know this is not a very ergonomic design to have it. You have, it's like, it's better to have both exits, but I don't care, they're robots. They just pass through each other harmlessly. All right, now, this this game is interesting in that I feel like most video games get more interesting as you progress. This one is like that for a second, and then the whole like home stretch is like the least interesting part, because now everything is pretty much completely automated. So, my daily routine, what that looks like, is just going around and restocking everything that needs to be restocked on the shelves. And then we order it. We have that mod that just puts it straight in there and then just like fast forward through a whole day and, and idle. I'm probably gonna settle back into the routine I was in last time when I had a sinus infection, I think. Last time I played this. Um, where I just like let the game run in the background and do like a sporkle quiz while my robots check everybody out. Um, so we'll probably do that again. Um. Uh. Two there, one there. So yeah, I, I will, before we open up today, I think it's important to do a little, a little come to Jesus check on, uh, what actually needs to be done before this game is allegedly 100%ed. Uh, cause like there's always the possibility that the achievement is bugged. Because, you know, I, I don't 100% this game until it gives me the achievement. And uh, I don't know if it's going to work. Sometimes with these games, the achievements are bugged. And then it's just like, oh, well, no, no, no. Because I, I checked and it says like 2% of players have this achievement. So it is attainable. Also more than I would expect. Given how much time it takes to get to this point. Uh, especially the thought of someone... 100% this game without mods uh, makes me shiver. Like, that is insane. Uh, okay. There you go. Yeah. Um, is that really everything? We don't have anything on the middle shelves yet? 
Guess not. Okay, well. 6,000 some purchase. They all go straight in there. And we're, uh, we're stocked. I believe. Yeah, we're good. So then these guys will go to work. That's whatever. Let's see. Things left. There are a bunch of new furnitures to my knowledge as well. Yeah, we could we could get silly with um design, but I already kind of like how my store looks anyway. Uh, there are five licenses left. Uh, the bills just pay automatically at this point. This is the problem. The achievement phrases it as all the expansions. So for a second, I was like, maybe I don't need to unlock everything. I just need to unlock the growth stuff. But then I realized that the growth stuff is going to be the hardest to unlock all of. Because it gets expensive. Look at this. $160,000 for the last one. I need a level 99 store. This is full. Um, we could get all of this. I don't need it, but we'll probably, we'll probably do that one big burst at the very end. Um, you change the entrance position. That's interesting. Okay. For now, we're going to work on getting product licenses. Next one. Product license. Purchase. Starts with some new cakes. Okay, whatever. Um, let's see. Yogurt, cleaner, books, whatever. Cleaner again. Here it is. Cake. Uh, this is shelf, 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 fridge. Six shelved products. Um, we're going to start. I forget how. I think I what I do is I order two of everything, and then let the um, AI go ahead and put it on the shelves where it wants to. I think. Yeah. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna let them do that. So that, yeah, they're gonna. <laughs> Seems like a good turn your mind off and waste two hours game. Yes! I was I was desperate in this game when I was doing summer school. I'd like get back from my classes and then just make a beeline to my room and play Supermarket Simulator for a little while. Okay. So they've they've placed this. It looks like some of these take a whole spot. Um, it's completely disorganized, but now that everything's automated, I don't care anymore. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yep. Purchase those. Okay. And now we place. Let's start with these. These are cans of cola. I'm not going to be organizing these in a way that makes sense. I do not have the energy for that. There we go. And then uh, let's price those at market price is 448. We'll do five even. We'll lose a couple sales doing that, but who cares? Uh, I don't. If you can't afford soda, you don't deserve to shop at my store. That's I, we're gonna put that on the front. Uh, more canned soda. We're gonna split the uh, the gap here with the. Hold on, I gotta I gotta before they stock it. There we go. Um, we're gonna put our canned drinks on either side of the pasta. I hate to have this talk with y'all every time, but if I see one of you say my OCD, I'm banning you. Without like, I, I don't, I don't think I need to give you a warning for that. You are explicitly banned. Okay. <laughs> this looks like Nutella. Um, oh God, yeah, we're we're um, we're out of shelf space here. Okay, um, we'll start using the round shelves. We're gonna run out of room because once those are full. Um, it's over. Well, let's think about this. Let's just have each uh, thing on these get their own. Because that would give 16. 16. Room for 16 more products. And we're going to have at least that many still in the wings. So starting now, we're going to give each thing only one shelf instead of two. Why is there so much Nutella? This dude has no idea how running a store is. You, you are so out of your depth. It's insane. Insane. What is this? Chips. Yeah. 
It's going to be tougher for my restockers, um, but... Well, no, because I really want each thing to have two rows. Um, is there any way I can... Yes, dumbass. I was about to say, is there any way I can fit more shelving? Expand the store. Okay, we're fine. We're going to stop buying product licenses for a little while until we can expand the store more. Uh, so, yeah, I, w I will give everything uh, two rows still. Like any good boy should. Uh, I forgot to price the Nutella, I believe. Uh, let's see. Like five bucks even. And then, um, yeah. 561? Six. Premium. It's a luxury good. Uh, next. What is this? Is it another cake? Looks like it. This is our fourth variety of cake. Y'all, you don't have to. You can just take five, man. Here we go. 36 cakes. And they will be $6 a pop. So that's that taken care of, that taken care of, that taken care of, that, and that. And I guess by extension this. Uh, this appears to be fabric softener. Why is there only one? Oh, this is um. This is an old product, I think. I think it's like an overflow. To my knowledge. Okay, maybe not. What the hell? Where did this come from? Yeah, okay. It is. Alright, we're good. Ignore that. Um... Because there should be seven types of products. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay. It adds up, y'all. Don't fret. And 36 more cakes. And five more Whoppers. Okay. I don't have much to talk to y'all about, and that's fine. So no one make fun of me. $30? What the hell kind of cakes are these? What? What is this? C it, citron. Is there something I'm missing? Are these like laced with something? I guarantee like that. This is the kind of product that you, that if you go to a store and someone is selling a pack of cakes for $30, you there is a drug trade happening around you. In that room. Okay. Well, anyway. Water. <laughs> it's a new kind of water. It's one of these newfangled waters. Cool. Alright, let me... Oops. <laughs> Fries that. It's like a maze in here. Am I right, guys? My store is like a maze. Okay. Uh, what is, I forgot we gave the one, these ones three rows inexplicably. Okay. Um, that's everything. So now I just order enough to fill up on everything and we're good. Done. All right. Another product license unlocked. We're filling up here. I don't know why you're closed. It's fine. Okay. Now. Open, says me. Advanced speed to 10. And uh, let's find a Sporkle quiz. I'm going to look up ML... I love baseball. <laughs> MLB 2024. I want it to be current. Um, okay. Wow, it's really chugging. Did you see that? That's the game. Okay, anyway. Um, MLB 2024 top 100 paid players in average salary. That's fun. Okay, here we go. DH, Otani, Texas, DeGrom, Scherzer. Uh, oh, it's in just annual. Just annual salary. Well, then technically Shohei is only getting paid $2 million. 
Uh, Houston starting pitcher with 43, Verlander. Uh, Yankees outfielder, Judge. Yankees starting pitcher, Cole. It's literally crazy that they can do this. Uh, Angels outfielder, Mike Trout. Nats starting pitcher. Are they still paying Strasburg that much? That's insane. That's why their team is so bad, man. Rendon's another tragic one. Uh, Lindor. Correa. Arenado. Uh, Seager. And Simeon will be on there not too far down. Oh, actually farther down than we expected. Machado. Rafi Big Scoops. Soto. I'm sure uh, Stanton will be on there somewhere. Yep. Dodgers shortstop. Dodgers shortstop. Oh, that's right. They have Mookie playing short this year. Uh, Dodgers starting pitcher Yamamoto. Oh, there's a different one. Um, Glass now. Yes. Phillies shortstop Trey Turner. Love that I'm learning a bit about baseball with each therm stream. Yeah. Why is there an ad for feet at the bottom? I don't think it's an ad for feet. I think they're advertising feet. Forget ferrosamide. Use this household item to help drain something. So got keep that in mind, guys. Uh oh man, not Strasburg. I don't think about baseball. Strasburg's a very sad story. He was an electric pitcher, top prospect, one of the most hyped debuts of all time. And then um to be fair, he had a great career. He won the World Series with the Nationals, but he was just he just got obliterated by injuries. Had all the like Tommy John. And then eventually like this year, even though he was still Relatively young, not this year, a few years ago. Uh, he had to retire uh, because he was having too many nerve issues and just couldn't pitch anymore. And he still had like a lot of this big contract, so they still pay him. Um, and usually when that happens, fan bases are mad because they're like, we're paying all this money to someone. I hate you. But Strasburg is such a cool dude that all the Nats fans are like, rest up, man. <laughs> he literally pitched until he physically couldn't anymore. Yan Another Yankees starting pitcher. This is what I hate about this damn team. Yankees wrote on. I meant Carlos Rodon. I'm going to call him Yankees Rodon. I'm going to start calling him Yankees Rodon now. Dodgers first baseman. Is Muncy playing first? No. Who's playing first? Freddie Freeman. I'm a moron. Okay. Um, how much is Yelich getting paid? I guess that much. Cubs outfielder. Bellinger. Uh, oh, it, it took Josh Bell. Bellinger. Royals shortstop. Bobby Witt Jr. Uh, Cardinals first baseman. Goldie. Gold. Schmidt. There you go. I think I spelled that right. Rocky's first baseman is making $26 million. Uh, did they have Chris Bryant at first? Why? That's fine. Well, he has been very injured. I guess that makes sense. What a terrible contract. Padres second baseman. Uh, Bogarts. They have him at second. A very sad post Red Sox career. Philly's first baseman. That's Bryce Harper. Cubs shortstop. Dansby Swanson, a great name. Uh, card starter, uh, Sonny Gray. There you go. Blue Jays outfielder, Springer, I think. Yeah. Phillies starting pitcher, Aaron Nola. San Diego outfielder, Tatis. Another starting pitcher for the Phillies. I don't know how much Wheeler is getting paid that much. Um, Dodgers outfielder. Is that Teoscar? It is. Dude, I'm kicking ass on this quiz right now. Um, we're going to pause because I, I, I think they are done. They're not done. They're still uh, restocking. Resume. <laughs> Houston second baseman, Altuve. I hit the wrong button. Altuve. Uh, another Nats starting pitcher. Oh, God. Is that Patrick Corbin? Probably the worst contract in the league. Red Sox shortstop. Devastating. Trevor Story. Tigers, shortstop. Uh, more devastating. Javi Baez. Because Story hasn't even been explicitly bad. He just keeps having freak injuries. It's so sad. Phillies catcher. Real Muto. Um, Giants starting pitcher. Webb? No, they have, um, they have Robbie Ray. Toronto. Is that Bassett? Nope. Is it Kikuchi? No, it's uh, it's Barrios. No, it's Gossman. <laughs> they have a lot of good starters. Um, Toronto, Toronto is, is funky, dude. They um, 
They have an elite starting rotation and a horrendous bullpen and a scuffling offense. They've been so disappointing. Mariners starting pitcher, uh, Luis Castillo, a steal of a contract. He's so good. Uh, Braves third baseman, Austin Riley. Braves first baseman, Matt Olson. Olason is what I just did. Uh, KC catcher is, is Salvi Perez. Mets first baseman, Pete Alonso. Mets relief pitcher. I forgot how much they're paying Edwin Diaz. It's the first reliever on the list. Uh, Cubs outfielder, another Cubs outfielder. Who do the Cubs have in the outfield? This is my first. They're paying $20 million to an outfielder right now? Ian Happ. Jesus. Okay, we're good. <laughs> um, Mets outfielder. Dude, I don't watch the Mets. Nimmo it is Brandon Nimmo. Cleveland third baseman, Jose Ramirez. Actually, probably the biggest steal on this list in terms of contracts versus value. Arizona starting pitcher. I don't know how much Gallon is getting paid. Nothing, apparently. They have Montgomery. Um, they have Eduardo Rodriguez. There we go. Two. We got two Rodriguez. Brave starting pitcher. How much is Max Fried making? $15 million? That's crazy. Uh, how much is Spencer Strider making? Nothing. Uh, how much is... Who else is starting? Chris Sale. That's who it's going to be. It's not. Charlie Morton? Wow, he's making $20 million. Padres starting pitcher. Musgrove. Yankees first baseman, Rizzo. Wah, wah. Uh, Houston third baseman, Breggy. Bregman. Phillies outfielder. Schwarber? Castellanos. There we go. Toronto first base. That is such a good contract for Kyle Schwarber. I mean, the Red Sox should have brought him back. Um, womp womp. Anthony Rizzo has been bad. <laughs> this is what I meant. Um, Guerrero. Oh, no, I counted. Houston first baseman. Abreu. What a dud. That's the worst contract. There's so many bad ones. Hard to pick. Another Mets outfielder. Marte? That's a, I'm proud of myself for that pull. Okay, now we actually pause because I'm sure they're done. They are. Um, okay, let me uh, switch back to our game here. End the day. Today's profit. Negative $17,000. <laughs> That's fine. How's your summer been? Quite nice. A lot of work, which I've, I've actually enjoyed. This is like a little uh, treat teaser trailer for Life After College. And... Um, it's good. Not, not particularly eventful, but hey, that's fine. Uh, we're going to need to start getting some store expansions. So it's going to be pretty much just like strictly saving money here for a little while. Um, which is boring <laughs> for you, comma, the viewer. But um, I don't care. You guys get to watch me keep doing uh, baseball quizzes. <laughs> Uh, that's fine. One goes there. One goes there. Oh, we need two more. Um, whatever. Bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang. Speaking of bang, anybody here listen to AJR? I'll give you some time to populate the chat. Me, my mom does. Heck yeah, bro. Some stuff. I just went to their concert. Hell yeah. I personally don't. I just remember that one of their songs was that. <laughs> I'm sure y'all were expecting me to Yeah, I have not really listened to any of their music They seem cool on stage I have seen videos of their concerts and uh, Very cool With what they do in their concerts I used to get them and Alt-J mixed up Yeah, fair uh, bop, 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 bop. Um, 
Um, okay, that's it. Place order. Today we'll get a better um, readout on profit because it'll be a little more accurate. Okay. Speed up. Sporkle. What music do you like? Um, it's a case by case basis for me. It's not even it, it, like the closest I can give to a single genre I like is just indie, as insufferable as that makes me sound. But it's really a song by song thing for me. For the most part, I rarely have just like artists as a whole that I'm into or genres as a whole that I'm into. It's kind of just like sometimes I hear a song and inexplicably I'm like, I'm really attached to this. Uh, a for a variety. <laughs> Resume. Boston starting pitcher. Who are they paying a lot of money to this year in their rotation? Did they sign Bayo to an extension? What? This is actually kind of confusing a little bit. Who are they paying over $19 million to? A starting pitcher? Giolito. He just hasn't pitched this year. I forgot about him completely. I love Lucas Giolito. I hope they bring him back next year. I think he has an option on his contract. Uh, Houston DH, Alvarez. I actually don't know how good he's been this year. I haven't seen very much. I'm going to look it up. Baseball reference. Uh, I haven't seen a lot about him on my... I should pause so I don't run out of time. I haven't seen a lot about him on my Twitter, which leads me to believe he's having a down year. Uh, Jordan Alvarez. Nope, still hitting 912 OPS with 19 homers. I think he was just injured for a little while. Okay, anyway. Uh, a Houston relief pitcher, Josh Hader. He's been at buns. Uh, Giants outfielder. What's his name? Lee? Jung-Hoo Lee? Yeah, that is a, a massive overpay. Um, Cardinals starting pitcher. How much are they paying Lance Lynn? How much are they playing, uh, paying um, Kyle Gibson? Gibbon. Who starts games for the St. Louis Cardinals? Kyle Gibson, Lance Lynn. Um, do they, are they still paying money to, to Rain, Wainwright? Guess not. Um, Michaelis starts games. They're paying Miles Michaelis $18.5 million? I just threw that out there just to get out of the way. That's insane. Marcus Stroman. <laughs> Another Yankee. Uh, a twin starter. Pablo Lopez, probably. Yeah. Great deal. He's, he's had a rough year, but I believe in him. Phillies starting pitcher, another one. Um, Taiwan Walker, yikes. Padres starting pitcher, Darvish. He's having family troubles. I hope he's okay. Giants third baseman, Matt Chapman. Giants outfielder, another Giants outfielder. Mitch Haniger. Uh, Michael Conforto. There we go. Red Sox outfielder, um, Yoshida. Another bad contract. <laughs> Cards catcher is Contreras. One of the two. There's two Contreras's that are catchers. Uh, there's a Wilson Contreras, and there's a... Um, there's the better Contreras, whose name evades me. Wilson Contreras. Who's the Brewers Contreras? I don't remember his name. He is better. Uh... Cubs starting pitcher, Imanaga. What a steal, dude. It's not Imanaga. He was still a steal for the record. The fact that he's not on this list makes me even more of a steal. Who are they paying a lot of... How much are they paying steal? Nothing. Uh, Hendricks. Who's starting games for the Cubs? Man. Steel, Hendricks, Imanaga. Oh, uh, Tyone. Jameson Tyone. There we go. Astro starting pitcher, Framber probably. Nope. How about um, Christian Javier? Nope. How about who is starting games for the Astros? Brown, Urquidy, Garcia. Who starts games for the Astros, man? Uh oh. We're gonna come back to that one. Texas starting pitcher, um, Eovaldi. Milwaukee first baseman, Hoskins. Cubs outfielder. Another Cubs outfielder? Dude, 
We got Hap, we got Bellinger. Morel. Uh, Crow Armstrong, did he get paid? No. <sighs> I'll just come back to it, I guess. Raise shortstop with an asterisk. Uh, that's the biggest womp womp on the list. That's the biggest yikes on the list. For those who don't know, Wander Franco, um, a once number one prospect with an incredibly bright future, amazing baseball player at a very young age. Rays gave him like a lifetime extension, and he is no longer playing in the league uh, because he diddles kids. Uh, Braves outfielder. <laughs> Braves outfielder. Braves outfielder. How much are they paying Ozuna? That much. Cincinnati starting pitcher. Did Green get paid? No. Who did they sign? Montas. That's right. KC starting pitcher. Lugo. Reagans. They have a lot of good ones, man. Um, Singer. Um, Waka. There we go. Michael Waka. A Sox relief pitcher is making 16 million. Oh, that's Kenley Jansen, isn't it? Yeah. O's starting pitcher. Burns. Great deal. A Pirates starting pitcher making 15.4 milli. Did they give Keller an extension? They did. That's a lot of money for Mitch Keller. Cleveland's second baseman is Jimenez. Uh, Mets starting pitcher. Yeah, if you want to know more, look up Wander Franco. <laughs> It'll be the first thing. Mets starting pitcher. Manaya. I don't know how to spell his name. Uh, Manaya. 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 Mets pitcher Man Manaya. That's how you spell his name. Okay, so it's not Manaya. Um, who's starting games for the Mets this year? Who is starting games for the Mets this year? We'll come back to it. Houston reliever, another Houston reliever. Is it Montero? It's not Montero. Uh, is it Abreu? It's not Abreu. They're paying a reliever fifteen million dollars in Houston. Dodgers second baseman. Who's paying second for the Dodgers right now? What the hell? It's not Mookie. Okay, now I'm starting to waver a little bit. Candelario. Yankee second baseman. Glaber Torres. Oh. Who's playing second for the Yankees this year? Do they have LeMahieu in as a second baseman? They do. He's been buns. Um, White Sox outfielder, Lou Bob, Luis. It's not Lou Bob. Oh, it's Ben and Tandy. I don't know how to spell his name. Is it Ben, Ben and Tandy? There we go. He's great with the Sox and has been asked since. Huh, we're missing five, man. I thought I'd be able to clear this. I've got five minutes to think about it. More if I pause. Mets, Mets starting pitcher. Who is starting games for the Mets, man? That's not... It's not Manaya. They have Severino. It's not Severino. <laughs> Who is left? Was it Quintana? Tyler McGill? Dude. I'm actually like blown away right now. Kodai Sanga. Dumbass. I literally forgot him because he's been hurt all year. Okay. Um, another Cubs outfielder, dude. Are you serious with this? Uh, who are the Cubs? What aging outfielder would the Cubs have? Because he, he can't be that good. I feel like if he was an outfielder and he was good, I'd pull him right away. Another Astros starter who I'm forgetting. Lance McCullers. 
It's not my colors. Wait, wait, wait. Is there two C's? I forgot about Lance McCullers entirely. Okay. Um, I'm gonna pause so we can we can end the day and, and also I can think about it more. End the day. Switch capture. You know the drill. There we go. 25k in profit. Uh, we're gonna have to do that for a few days. Um, I'm afraid. Cause like I'm. Just, oh God, I need so much money. I'm gonna need to just do this a lot on my own time. Or. Everyone, please hold while I um, change my cheat mod <laughs> to increase my profit margin. Uh, Bepinex config game boost. <laughs> there we go. Save. All right. Fixed it. I fixed it. Back to work. I honestly wish I was so passionate about something. I love baseball. I love baseball. <laughs> I love it so much and I'm so sad because there's no baseball today because of the all-star break this is why I have like seasonal depression on the during the off season because there's no baseball to watch <laughs> and I don't know what to do with my time uh, I'm so fortunate that the baseball season lasts so long and there are so many games it's great um, bang 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 Bang. Oh, you can just do it in the gap where it is. You don't have to click on the tag. You can just be like, boom, 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 boom. That's awesome. La, 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 Uh, okay. <sighs> Astros starting pitcher. That's gonna drive me insane, man. No, 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 that's right, we got it. It was McCullers. Astros reliever. That's what's puzzling me. There's someone who pitches relief for the Astros who's making more money than, like, most of the league. On a list of the top 100 played, paid players in the entire league. How is that the case, man? Who is that? Okay. Let me imagine I'm playing a game against... The Houston Astros. I'm imagining right now. I am playing a game against the Houston Astros. Closer? Well, their closer is Josh Hader. We already got him. It's definitely going to be some highly paid pitcher who's been disappointing. So they, they moved him to the bullpen. Do they still have Helsley? Because I'm thinking like haters like they're closer. Okay, hold on. Open. Max speed. Whatever. You get the draw. Okay. Trying Helsley. Or not Helsley. What's his name? Helsley's the Cardinals guy. What is his name? Presley. Ryan Presley. We got it. It's Ryan Presley. Okay. Now it is just a Dodgers second baseman and a Cubs outfielder. Okay. Dodgers second baseman. Making $15 million. Gavin Lux? Who's playing second for the Dodgers? Man. 
Okay, let's let's that's a dead end. Cubs outfielder. Who plays in the outfield for the Cubs? I'm trying to imagine like Cubs highlights. Say a Suzuki. Okay. One remains. Dodgers second baseman. Who is making $15 million to play second base for the Los Angeles Dodgers? I'm like, okay. Who could play infield for the Dodgers? There's no way they're playing they're paying Kike fifteen million dollars. There's no way they're playing Miggy Rowe fifteen million dollars. Who is making fifteen million dollars, man? That's crazy. Second baseman? I have a minute left. Second base. It's going to be someone who they just like acquired via trade or something. Uh, who I didn't know played for the Dodgers. I have 30 seconds. Who's a utility guy? Okay, I just need to start listing players. Um, Chris Taylor. It was Chris Taylor! He's a second... What the... F I thought he was an outfielder. Well, I win, but... Since when does Chris Taylor play second? Am I stupid? I thought he was an outfielder. I mean, he's a utility guy. Wow. I did it. <laughs> Full clear. I'm proud of myself for that. Okay. I love baseball. Uh, I want to keep doing baseball quizzes, but they all, they all aren't into baseball, so I should probably do one that might entertain more people. I don't care, dude. It's a supermarket simulator stream. I'm doing this for me. We're doing more baseball quizzes. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I was about to just start throwing out flyers. Holy shit. Oh my god, can you name all of the opening day lineups? That I will not be able to do. Oh, let's try this. Home run leaders as of July 14th. Oh my god. They're going all the way down to four? Okay, this is impossible. Well, let's go from the top. Judge. Otani. Um, Gunner. Insane player. Ozuna. Another Orioles player, Santander. The Orioles mash, dude. Devers. Um, Ramirez. A Yankee with 23 bombs. Probably Soto. Yeah. Uh, Guardian. A, another Guardian with 22 home runs. Naylor. I forgot about Josh Naylor, dude. Um, Bo Naylor has six. Diamondbacks with 22. Does Christian Walker have that many? I wonder how many Cattel Marte has. 19. That's really impressive. Phillies with 21. Schwarber. I missed a letter. Schwarber. Harper. Castellanos will be on there. Baum will be somewhere. Oops. Baum. A's with 21. Brent Rooker having an insane season again. Mariners with 20. Is that Cal? Yeah. Mets, 19. Alonso probably Astros with 19 Alvarez just looked at his page another Dodger with 19 Mookie Mookie only has 10 oh that's right he broke his hand um how many does Muncie have some Will Smith Swith it's not Will Smith Dodgers just have too many Hernandez they have too many people can mash uh Astros with 19 
There are 297 players on this quiz. Astros with 19. Uh, come on, I gotta hurry. Bregman. Um, Altuve. Uh, we're pausing. Are my folks done? They're not done. Astros. Who plays for the Houston Astros? Kyle Tucker plays for the Houston Astros. Dumbass. Cubs with 18. Belly. I don't know how many he has. Oh, it did Bell again. Um, how many does Seiya Suzuki have? Uh, a Cubs player. Wisdom. <laughs> Who plays for the Cubs and, and, and hits bombs? Ian Happ? Um, Swanson? Swansong? What the hell, man? A Cub that has 18 homers? It's not any of the people I listed. We'll come back to it. A pirate with 18. Reynolds. Rangers with 18. How many does Seager have? It's up to 18. Yankees with 18. Another Yankee. Who has a lot of home runs on the Yankees? Who's like a sleeper home run guy? Volpe's had a disappointing season. He only has nine. Oh, he has six. Anthony Volpe only has six home runs. That's crazy. I don't know how many Verdugo has, but yeah, he's got 10. Yankees, 18 bombs. Um, oh, Stanton. He just, he just hurt, so I forgot about him. Cardinals with 17. I don't know what Arnado's doing this year. Apparently not hitting home runs. Um, I don't know what Goldschmidt's doing. Also not hitting home runs. Gorman. Nolan Gorman has 17. That's actually quite impressive. It's another Cardinal with 17 runs. Contreras? Nope, he's got 10. Um, I don't know what Donovan's doing. I don't know. Uh, Mason Wynn? Is it with an I or with? It's with, it's with an I. Um, yeah, he was on there somewhere. Uh, Reds, Candelario, Ellie De La Cruz. What are, did they just take Cruz? Yeah, Ellie De La Cruz. Rangers with 17. Semyon? Nope. Uh, low. Low and Lau. We got low and Lau. Another ranger that masses, mashes. Who's the um that catcher they have? Do they have still have Kepler? No, Kepler's on the Twins. Who's that guy? I can't remember. Um, a Rangers guy who mashes. How's Langford doing? I don't know. Uh, man, we'll come back to it. Tigers, 17 bombs. Uh, green? Yep. A's, 17 bombs. That's not Rooker. Langelier. Mets with 17 bombs. Nimmo's been having a good year, right? Nimmo's got 16. How's Alvarez? Not on the list. A Met with 17 nukes. Who's that new guy who's having like a sneaky great season? I can't remember his name. Mets, 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 Mets. Oh, Lindor. Lindor. Royals with 17 is Wit. No, Wit has only 16. That's surprising. Well, then it's probably Salvi. Yeah. White Sox with 16. Lou Bob. It's not Lou Bob. A White Sox with 16 homers. Andrew Vaughn has 11. Uh, I don't know what Sheets has been up to. Um... 16 homers for a White Sox player. What is Tommy Pham doing? That is throwing me for a loop, dude. 16. And it's not... It's not Lou Bob. Okay, well, we'll come back to it. Red Sox with 16. O'Neal. Orioles with 16. Orioles mash, man. I don't know how many Rutch... Rutchman has. He's got 16. That's impressive. Rockies 16. McMahon. Doyle. Doyle's 15. How's Tovar doing? I don't know. Um, Rockies 16 homers. Is Blackman playing this year? He is. He's on there. Um, Doyle. I tried Doyle. I tried McMahon. Um... 
Chris Bryant? Yeah, that's what I figured. What the hell, dude? Okay, whatever. Nats with 15. Winker's been having a good year. Uh, Abrams. There we go. Brewers with 15. How's Hoskins? There he is. Yelich. Um, Adamas. There we go. Angels with 15. Uh, Ward. Trout. Oh, Hoppy. I don't know who else plays for the Angels. Renhifo? That's with the G. Renhifo has six. Who's got 15 bombs for the for the Angels? Zach Meadow? <laughs> Sid Sam. Um Pause. We gotta get back to work. It's enough play. I'll have some time to think about it. I'm having more trouble with this one because it's they're they're more niche players. Okay. We made 58,000 bucks today. It's pretty exciting stuff. Okay, we're up to $127,000. I'd like to get the next few um, expansions kind of all at once. Because it, it, that probably only gives us one like square, right? Yeah. So we are going to... There we go. All right, three more expansions. Oh, four is the even number. That'll. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to completely redo everything. Paint the. <sighs> Christ above. Redo the floors. Man. Let's restock. God damn it. My store is in such a nice place. And then, like, when I redo that, I'm just going to have to redo it again later when we expand again. I'm not yet. We're just going to... I'm going to wait to get the other product licenses until I've done all the expansions. And let me tell you. If I... I'm going to try and get all the expansions by the end of the stream. If by the end of the stream... I get all the expansions and I get that last achievement signifying that I have 100%ed Supermarket Simulator. No, I won't feel good until I get every upgrade. If, if this stream ends and I have every upgrade and I have that achievement and I'm done, we will not be spinning the wheel as is customary. And that is because I've already got two two series going right now that came via the wheel spin, and that is Elden Ring. We've played Elden Ring in like over a month. I'm going to like completely relearn how to play. Elden Ring and Pikmin. Instead of spinning the wheel, uh, I am just going to... Uh, executive decision. Begin a new series that I've been plotting on for a while. And I'll tell you what that is if I 100% this game today. At the, at, the, at the moment, I will tell you what it is. A bunch of people are going to be super pumped. That's all I'm going to say. Super pumped. All right, we're up to a level 91 store. I've expanded my store even more. Um, I'm just going to line this area with shelves probably and just like decorate it completely differently. And it's going to look whack as hell. But um, hey man, that's okay. All right. Back to work. I'm going to have to be more willing to skip ones on this one. Like, yeah, that Angels guy, I've, I've got no freaking clue, dude. Okay. Um, Reds. Oh, no, we're on, we're on Rays right now. Parades. Reds. Not De La Cruz, not Candelario. I don't know how many Steer has. It's Spencer Steer with 15. Uh, O's again. 
Mount Castle, um, Westberg, Stored in Westberg. Dodgers, 14. Muncie. Erm. Who, who is going to go out there and mash for the Dodgers? Four, 14 bombs. I'm having trouble just like even remembering their infield, man. Um, I just said I need to be okay with skipping, but this is going to drive me up a wall. I'll skip it. Uh, Blue Jays, 14 home runs. Vladdy, off to a slow start. Twins, 14 home runs. Correa. Padres, 13. Wait, what? Oh, I skipped this. It's not Correa. Uh, I skipped one. Who else matches for the Twins? Garver is who I was thinking. He's he plays for the Mariners. <laughs> um, who matches for the Twenty Twin Twins? I have no idea. Padres. Shadow. He only has 13. Cronenworth. Oh, Jerickson Profar. There we go. Giants, 14. Is that how many Chapman has? He has 13. Um, Ramos. That's right. He's having a great year. Padres. Another Padre. <laughs> 14 bombs. Um, Jackson Merrill? Nope. He's 12. Uh... Man. Padre. Padres, Padres, Padres. I guess I'll skip it, man. I'm sad. Rhyming back. Walker. I got Walker. I got my tab. Guriel. Braves. Albies. Riley. Both having down years. Olsen. That's right. He's having a big down year. Diamondbacks again. <laughs> I don't know, man. Moreno. Carol? Um. Who's even left? Peterson. There we go. And uh, they've got Gino as well before I forget. Another twin. I like, I don't know who plays for the Minnesota Twins, it turns out. Cubs. Again. I don't know. Rays. Uh. Ah, uh, there we go, Marlins. Well, here's um, Orioles again. God damn it! That was a yes, A's again. <laughs> Um, Blade. Blade's got a lot. Good for him, man. Um, Davis, JD Davis. He only got four. Kill off. There we go. Pirates. O'Neill Cruz. Nay. Ready to les. <laughs> He's got eight. Um, Key Brian Hayes. Nope. Jack Sawinski. Um, who else plays for the Pirates? I got nothing. Uh, well, Davis. Henry Davis. No. Andy Rodriguez. I don't even know if he's still up. Raise again. God damn it. 
Um, we've done the the lows and the lows. Do they have walls? Table walls. I don't even remember who plays for the Yanni Diaz. Um, whatever. Mets. <laughs> I've got no clue, bro. McNeil. He's having a bad year. Whatever. Tigers. Who's not green? Pork. Torkelson. He's having a. He's just like been a bust. He's very sad. Um, Beerling. <laughs> it is bad feeling. That's crazy. Okay, National, who has 11 home runs. Rosario had a few while he was there. He has seven. It's not Winker. It's uh, maybe it's K Bear Ruiz. Maybe it's uh, James Wood just got there. So definitely not. Uh, Luis Garcia. There we go. Padres. 11 homers. Another Padre. Another. <laughs> Another Padre. I don't know how many Bogarts had before I got hurt. He had four. Um, poopy butt. Uh, poopy butt farts. Campusano? I don't know. He's on there somewhere. Wolf Gip. Royals. 11 dongs. Um, Pasquantino? Nice. Red Sox with 11. Could be literally anybody. Uh, Sadon has 11, I think. Nice. Marlins. 11 homers. Um, they have another, like, De La Cruz, I think. Or would it come up if I just did Cruz? I've got no idea. Th skip. Phillies again. Stott? Preston Stott only has CX. Real Muto? Nope. Rojas? Nope. Pass. Blue Jays? 11. Bichette? Nope. Biggio? Nope. Uh, what's his name? Schneider? Davis Schneider has 10, so I'm on the right track. Varsho. There we go. Reds. Again. Pass. Marlins. Uh, pass. <laughs> I don't know who the who's even left on the... Oh, Jake Berger? <laughs> yes! Okay. Giants. Um, like... Okay. It's probably... They're probably done restocking. They are. Back up to 84. Fetained. Yeah. I'm sorry, folks, but the I, I'm running out of... of um, I don't want to fully, like, one by one place everything back over there, redo the floors, everything like that. We're just going to leave that as, like, a cavernous yellow space. <laughs> and then I'll run out of shelves and I'll just put some shelves on that wall and it'll be ugly in that area, but I'll just only look this way when I'm recording B-roll for the video. <laughs> so it's fine. Okay. Restock. This is the last baseball. I'm getting baseballed out of here. This is the last baseball quiz we're going to do, and then we're going to go back to more entertaining ones. Well, this song is stupid, huh? This is not my style, but that's okay. I'm sure according to some of y'all, this would be my style. Same, the same one, ones of you who make posts on Twitter about like, who reply to all my tweets saying like, um, dot, 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 are you okay, Therm? Or like, um, maybe you shouldn't have tweeted this one. Dot, dot, dot. This, this, this song is like the song that someone would put in the background of like a TikTok edit of like a grown man who makes YouTube videos. Like one of the Minecraft people and is like, my favorite streamer is like such a golden retriever. Like, oh, he, th this is... 
my my comfort streamer is 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 just a little guy. It's like forty year old man. <laughs> Let's do this. So I for immediately going on the offensive um, on what sounds like it's supposed to be a really positive song. <laughs> Apologies. Um, in my Minecraft phase right now. Yeah, I miss Minecraft. Playing with Matt was like a ton of fun. So. I believe I, I added that to the wheel. Um, I think I have a couple Minecraft things in the in the wings right now. Uh, one, let me check the wheel to to recall. Yeah, one of the um, one of the notches on my wheel is uh, Minecraft parentheses with mods. I've never played Minecraft with mods before, and I feel like that could be a really fun playthrough. I would just need to think about how I would package that into a YouTube video, because lately my uh, videos that used to do pretty well where I just play through a game have not been doing well. Because, like, in the past, like, my Undertale video had, like, 2.4 million views. My Bucks Next video was the first video I ever tried of that format, and it got almost a million views. But lately, like, again, always hate to whine on main. It's like such a whiny little baby. You folks have eyes. Channel's not been doing great <laughs> last couple months in terms of views. Um, and especially my videos in that style, like the Spirit Fair one, have not been doing well. Especially, I've been extremely like disappointed. The Spirit Fair, the Spirit Fair video. Um, as much fun as I had playing that game, literally no exaggeration. That the Spirit Fair video has been the worst performing video I've uploaded to the channel in all of 2024, and that's very sad. <laughs> so. I'm going to have to change gears and shift my focus a little bit. And um, I know I'm going to lose a lot of people because I'm going to start uploading some stuff with kind of a different vibe. But, you know, I'm already losing people. Uh, I didn't post it to Twitter because I didn't want to whine and pander. But my, like, little subscriber graph, uh, the second I uploaded that Spirit Fairy video, was just, like, poof, downward. Like, I lost a bunch of people. So... That's the tough part with, like, YouTube in, like, let me, you know what? If I'm going to sit here and chat, I might as well just open up shop and fast forward. Um, YouTube in the past, like, in, in especially in, like, the, like, mid-2010s, a lot more um, personality-based of, uh, like, people were, like, more were about the creator and would just kind of watch them play whatever. Uh, the way YouTube is now... And especially the, with TikTok and and how that's affected people's attention spans, there's a lot bigger focus focus on people just wanting to find the one video that they want. So now, when you have a video blow up, it used to be that you have a bunch of people who then subscribe and are going to watch what you upload. Now I'm in this cycle where anytime I have a video do well, it'll earn me a lot of new subscribers, and then those people not only will not watch anything I play that isn't the one game they subscribed for, but but they will they will comment under every video saying like, hey man, where's blah? And then if, if, if I go too long without uploading that, then they leave. And that's just kind of how YouTube is now. So it's like the double-edged sword of anytime I have a video do well, then suddenly anything I upload that isn't that isn't going to do well because people are like, you know, it was, it was Wobble Dogs, then it was Papa's. It was everybody saying like, this is not Papa's. So... Who cares? And now it's the backyard baseball. Which, to be fair, I love backyard baseball. But now it's like, every video I get is people being like, this is not backyard baseball. Um, and it's like, I can, obviously, there's like a, a, um, I don't, like, a lot of people will be like, oh, but, it, but you shouldn't listen to those people. And it's like, well, <laughs> There's not listening to them where I'm like, I, I can easily be like, yeah, I don't care. But it doesn't matter if I listen to them or not. It's impacting the channel, regardless of whether or not I listen to those people or care. People were like, oh, don't pay any attention to them. You should upload whatever you feel like. It's like, well, if I don't pay any attention to them, like that is 
my audience that is not wanting to watch what I'm uploading and therefore I'm not making enough money to pay my tuition. <laughs> so I have to care. Um, so yeah, it's just like with the way YouTube works right now, people just want to see the one game they saw you play. And if you don't play that game, they leave. It's actually better that they leave right off the bat. The worst case scenario is people subscribe for one video and then sit there and don't watch anything you upload because that's how videos die is it pushes it out to your subscribers. And if it's like, hey, a really low percentage of your subscribers are actually clicking on this video, then it, it doesn't go out to the public. Um, and that's kind of the cycle I'm in right now because I love the Spirit Fair video and I'm sure there's a big audience out there that really love it, but it's not reaching those people because it's dying with all the folks who subscribed for Backyard Baseball. And then they see that and they're like, well, this isn't Backyard Baseball. Where's Backyard Baseball? And then they don't watch it. And then YouTube's like, oh, people hate your video. And then it doesn't get pushed out. So that's just kind of how it works. So I'm going to need to completely um, shift gears here with YouTube and, and change my focus. Oh, shit. My fast forward stopped. And uh, I'm going to have to focus on more. And I know I always talk about how, like, I want to stay true to my roots in terms of like making the kind of content that I've always wanted to make, which is just like playthroughs, full playthroughs with, with no script or their premise. But there's just no audience for that anymore. Well, there is, but it's, it's not enough of an audience anymore. And I think I'm in denial. <laughs> and there's a while where I was like, oh, but you know what? It's not about the numbers for me. It's about loving it. But that's because that's, I, I, I talked a lot about like, oh, it's not about the numbers. Uh, it's about. It's about making my art. Uh, yeah, I said that when I was in a great financial situation. <laughs> so things have changed. And obviously now it's like, okay, I need to focus more on like that kind of thing. Uh, Cause I used to be able to really reliably predict uh, what videos do well. And I was really comfortable in that, but now I'm not comfortable with that anymore. And now I'm kind of in a state where it's like, well, do I even know anything anymore? Because the Minecraft music video, I liked, I thought that video would bang because every video I had ever uploaded like that uh, hit the algorithm and blew up without exception. And I was like, and this is like that, but like even a bigger project. So I feel like this is like faded to succeed. And it really, uh, it's almost puked. It really did not uh, at all. And I think that's just because my audience is different than it used to be. And now it's like way more segmented and I have like of, of my subscriber base that's active I have one giant clan that only wants to watch papas I have one giant clan that only wants to watch me I don't know play backyard baseball I have one giant clan that has stuck it out for years or I guess year and is still just sitting there not watching anything waiting for me for me to play Cult of the Lamb again after saying a thousand times that I'm done with that series same with Stardew Valley so it's like yeah, it, I, I'm in kind of a tough spot right now, and I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to work out of it. And for a while, I was like, oh, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing, but work a lot harder and upload a lot more frequently. And I have uploaded a lot more frequently. Um, and the results have been poor. <laughs> so I think I need to stop kidding myself and trying to play the, the, the morally righteous card and keep being like, oh, I'm just going to stick it out and make the kind of videos I want to make because... That's what YouTube's all about. Uh, yeah, right now YouTube's all about uh, paying for my college, <laughs> and it's not doing that. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a new approach, and it, there's gonna be some lag time. It's gonna be like at least a month until I can actually incorporate that new approach because I've got to go through the long process of making the videos. Um, I'm also this is something that I want to talk about. I feel really guilty. About doing it. Well, first of all, I want to catch up on chat. So I'm going to get some water and silently re chat for a while. And then I'll break some sad news to you guys. It's great news for me. It'll be sad news for y'all. Um, so, yeah, I'll let you simmer in anticipation while I get water. BRB.
I'm back. Got my water. Um, oh, they're done. Okay. Sad news is, is gonna wait <laughs> for a moment. Yeah, I'll just be saving up money for a little while. Okay. Um, now here's the sad news. Great news for me. Sad news for you. Mainly just makes me feel guilty because I feel like this is the kind of thing that, um, YouTubers get a lot of shit for. I feel like 90% of the time, the, uh, best way to turn your audience against you <laughs> is to break promises. And I made it so clear when I moved to Twitch that because streaming is not my main source of income and, uh, and that, um, rather the content creation is that I would never monetize my Twitch, uh, account. I would never monetize my streams so that people wouldn't want to or have to watch ads when they come to my streams because I'm like, I'm just going to prioritize viewing experience uh, because at the time I thought it was because I was such a great person. I was like, because it was like so virtuous about it. It's like, uh, because uh, I, I, I care more about my viewer experience than just making a quick buck. And uh, yeah, I said that when I was in a great financial situation and... <laughs> Without getting into specifics, uh, that is no longer the case. Uh, I'm not going to make it... I'm, I'm, I'm not going to sound... I don't want to... Because that's an, an even worse thing to do, is to pretend to be like absolutely broke when it's not the case. I'm not broke. I'm not struggling to pay the bills or anything like that. I am still feeding myself very well. And I have a, uh, a, a large sum of money that I have stowed away in a Roth IRA that I'd like to not take out so I can have it for like if I want to get a house in the future. So like, I, it's not like I have zero net worth. But, you know, <laughs> college is expensive, and uh, I, I spent somewhat irresponsibly uh, on decorations when we moved this past summer, which was unwise, um, as much as I love my room. So, yeah, it's become necessary. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to monetize Twitch. I don't know how it works, so I'm going to need to ask around. But, yeah, the time has, has come. Uh, I'm also going to drop my whole, um, it's called Matt Pat. Oh, Pat Pat. I'm going to drop my whole virtuous, uh, I am only going to take like sponsors. Obviously I'm still only ever going to take sponsors for companies and or games that I believe in. I'm never going to sponsor something that I don't believe in, but I think I've been way too picky about like, I'm not going to sponsor this game because it, it, it doesn't seem like the kind of game I would play in my free time. I'm going to have to start just grabbing the bag. I hope you find it in your heart to forgive me. Restock. Yeah, so I think you can choose to run ads like when you get water. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to look up how it works because I don't know how it works. Okay. So you're quitting or taking a break. Nope. <laughs> I just want to run ads on my Twitch. Why is this? Oh, the rack is... I accidentally ordered too much. All right, well, it'll, it'll work out fine. All right. So anyway... That's the gist. I will... and uh, Please, I need to make this so clear. I am not begging for money. I am not, like, about to be out of a house. Please do not interpret any of this as guilt tripping or a pity party. I'm just trying to be transparent about the channel moving forward and explain why the vibe of my videos might be slightly different. I, it's still, it's never going to be completely different, but I'm, I'm going to start alternating a little bit and throwing in some more videos that are kind of built for the algorithm. Uh, the Terraria Calamity my video was like dipping my toes into that. I was like, what if I upload something that is made more for the algorithm? How would the audience react? And for those it's pretty positive. So don't donate if you don't want to, or, or sub if you aren't comfortable doing that. Please, <laughs> I'm not begging for money. I am not about to be evicted from my home. I'm still like, I literally went through a drive through earlier today. Like I have money, I have money. Or no, I didn't, but I'm going to later today is what I mean. It, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> so don't freaking, 
This is the kind of shit that gets uploaded to TikTok out of context, and then all the TikTok comments are like, I hate con how privileged content creators are beg for money. I'm not trying to beg for money! I have some money. <laughs> taxes hit me really hard this year. Um, especially estimated taxes. So, yeah. I'll get it back. <laughs> It'll work out fine. I also got to pay my med... It, there's a lot of medical stuff, too. That's kind of the main thing I'm just not realizing. But I'm feeling a lot better, so my medical expenses have gone way down from last year. That's fine. That's made me realize I actually still have a medical bill to pay. I got to do that today. But yeah. For the sake of transparency, I'm not going to give you the exact details. It's just because I don't want anyone getting the wrong idea about me being broke. My, like, all my, like, I've got right now in, in my bank account, my balance is in the thousands. Okay. I have, I, I, I do not have like a hundred dollars in my bank account. I just want to be completely clear. I have money. So please do not start like a GoFundMe. <laughs> We're almost at store level 99. I think that's where it caps. This is going to be depressing to listen back to when I'm editing this. <laughs> I'm just going to skip it. Ninety-nine. We have a store level of ninety-nine, and all it took was that cheat mod that boosts it by like ten times. Ninety-nine. Also, like... I'm hopelessly addicted to baseball. I like did this big purge the other day where I was like, I'm going to, I got to focus more on saving up money where I went through all my subscriptions and canceled anything that I didn't absolutely need. And then I got to MLB TV, which I'm paying Lord knows a lot of money for. I forget the price of MLB TV, how I watch all my Red Sox games. And I was like, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. I could not bring myself. I can't live without my Red Sox. I can't do it. I know there was a time in my life where I didn't. And I don't know how that time existed. The same as I don't know how I used to live without a phone. Like, I just... I can't live without my socks. If you have a crown next to your name, you can sub for free. I don't know how subs work. At all. What does that mean? How, why can you sub for free? Why, why does it give you a free one? Prime. Oh, does it come with Amazon Prime? That's cool. Yesterday was Prime Day. I think. Subscriptions are thrown for free to avoid ads. Yeah, I'm about to, about to make them. So, get ready. Amazon Prime gives you a free sub every month. That's so cool. I have Amazon Prime. I should use that on somebody. I don't use Twitch, but I should give one of my friends a subscriber on Twitch for the love of the game. Boom, boom. Boom. Boom, boom. Okay. I use my mom's Prime account. She ain't gonna use the subs if I take it. Hell yeah. I got a razor head for like 35 bucks. Holla. I I hope I didn't. At the time I was like, I don't think I need anything. I hope I did. I, I know for a fact I'm gonna like think of something in two days. I'm like, man, I wish I ordered that on Prime Day. My, my mom got, um, we, we moved into this like very vertical townhouse. Uh, this like small, very vertical townhouse. And so she loves the treadmill, but there's just no room for a treadmill anymore. Um, so this is such a cool idea to me. She got, to my knowledge, on Prime Day, one of these, it's like a fold-up floor treadmill that can go under your bed. And you can, like, pull it out of your bed, flip it on the floor, and then have a treadmill. Which I think is so sick. So she ordered one of those. Oh my god, 
do today? What am I going to work on? Probably all the Twitch stuff. I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger on that. <laughs> I'm going to be away from my desktop. That's something I can do while I'm away from my desktop. Res research that. I might. I don't want to trouble Sean because he's a busy man, but I might ask if he's around to like call. Because <laughs> I'm gonna have so many questions about how Twitch works. I feel. I reach out to Sean. Sean is such a treasure. I reach out to him so frequently with questions. I feel bad because it comes across that I like. It's one of those things where I I, I get self conscious about like. I hope he doesn't think that <laughs> our friendship is founded on me ripping advice from him. Because literally, I reach out to him like <laughs> weekly, being like, "Hey man, I have a question." How does blah work? And he's always so sweet about it. Sixty-two thousand dollars in profit. Dupermarket is level ninety-nine. Dupermarket is a level ninety-nine store. Uh, Dupermarket also currently it has almost every product available, and the owner of Dupermarket, uh, Thurm Thomas, has over two hundred thousand dollars. So. Feeling pretty good. Okay. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger on this next section. Oh, my God. I'm going to go ahead and r run the numbers on how much money I need for the rest of these. I'm going to try to do it in my head. 160,000. Uh, 306,000. 438,000. 438. 553. 655. Jesus. 745. Oh my god. 745. Um, 800. We need just about a million dollars. To get the rest of these sections. Hmm. <laughs> Let's focus on the product licenses for now. Uh, I'm going to get... Here's the thing. This is a really sad state. It looked perfect. And then now we have this big yellow area. Um, if I was... If I was looks maxing my store... I would push this all back here, repaint this wall blue, redo all these floor tiles to this color, and then tile over these with wood and replace these with shelves. There's no tile system in this game, meaning that that process will take approximately an hour. I'm not doing that. I'm so sorry that this will... Um, ruin the aesthetics of the, of this lovely establishment because it will um i don't have it in me what i am going to do uh is i don't need that many come on what i am going to do is go ahead and repaint this back wall blue why can i not Working over there. Oh, I just wasn't close enough. Oh, wait. This is like white. I, I bought the wrong color. Just wasted $600. Um, What color was it? It was like a blue, but like what blue? Was it this blue? I think it was that blue. Oh, no. It might have been this blue. We're going to get one of each blue. seems more like teal but it's not this blue okay now we know it's the dark blue 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 um yeah that's the stuff uh oh shit son of a bitch okay um now here's the thing I guess I, I should yeah I am going to 
That's perfect. All right. It leaks a little bit, but that's okay. Now, I've got my refrigerated section. And then... This is really sad. That's so ugly. I like... Yeah, I'm actually really bummed. I liked it a lot more when it was like that wall was blue. This isn't... Yeah, the store is never going to look good again. That was the best it's ever going to look before I bought all these expansions. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give up. These damn playlists keep playing. It's so annoying. Oh, this is from Professor Layton. That's shocking. Whatever. I'm going to get content ID'd by that. Um, yeah, I... I I don't have it in me. <laughs> It'll just look really ugly at the end. Um, so sorry for folks who don't want it to look really ugly at the end. Uh, but it's going to look... Jesus Christ. It's going to look really ugly at the end. I'm just going to plaster some shelves against the walls and back wall and we'll be done. Um, I'll go ahead and... Jesus. I'll, go, I'll at least paint this green. And I'll change the flooring of that section. And it'll just be like a different area of the store. It's fine. And if we need more fridge space, we can put a display fridge back there and bag it up. But. Okay. All right. So now we have this back. Why is this one like not? There we go. We have this back wall that's just pure shelving. Uh, I'm going to order some more green. It's that one, right? Before I pull the trigger, I need to make sure. Okay. Okay. I'm going to... So it turns out I am going to put a little bit of effort into... Oh, it glitched out. Well, here's the thing. Originally, I was going to have the, the the green match up with the freezer section. Now, I think I'm just going to do this, this the thing I did before with the like different color backsplash wall. Final answer. I'm out of paint. Yeah, I've decided. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have all this be uh, green. It's fine. Okay, it just looks awkward when like a weird, especially when you can like see the like part where the colors split. Um. All right, and I ordered too much green paint. So let me order a couple couple buckets of blue. Um. We'll paint that. So I'm going to put a little effort into the store. Here at the end. Oh. Okay. Pop. All right. I just had a weird swallow where it sounded like a fart. How silly is that? I guess I've been eating a lot of farts. What what flooring should I do for this part? We have this kind of wood for the aisle space. Yeah, I'll just get more of this and, and put it back there. It's fine. Um, Yeah, I don't like that this one is... I don't like it. Yeah, I'll get curved shelves for that area later. Later. Boom jams. Okay. So now... I'm going to need more. Well, here's the thing. Why does it line up like... 
Yeah, it'll be it'll be fixed later. It's uh three shelves and then a curved shelf. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it'll it'll, it'll be fixed. Uh, I think there's only ten tiles per box. Yeah, so I need two more boxes. Unforge. Oh, I gotta throw this away. Yeah, it'll all work out. Yeah, here. I'm doing this. I'm gonna just get a bunch of expansions again later. I'm pissed. I'll get over it. Okay, whatever. It's worth it for me. How far have we come, huh? Huh? Hmm. 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 Okay. I want to get rid of this. Uh, well, we have a half fridge. Right there. Yeah. That's what I'll do. I'm going to see. Oh, no, I can't. I, 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 there's not enough space. I, 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 I can't. I, <sighs> hmm. I want to get rid of this fridge because these are all unnecessary. I have two shelves worth anyway. Can I somehow just completely ditch? I can box it up and then sell with the products in it. Dude, perfect. Now this actually changes everything and I'm not kidding. Now I can. This song is so familiar. It's played on a lot of my streams before. I don't know what it's from. Yeah, now I can, uh, yeah, this is literally like a dream because then I can put the half fridge and then it'll all line up. Ah, I'm so happy. And then I can get another fridge. So we have more fridge room. Let me go ahead and do that. Ah, couple corner shelves <laughs> and another shelf. And that's all the furniture I'll need to make that new area. I Like I said, I wasn't going to care, and then I just couldn't even help myself. Um, okay. It's, let's put this as far back as I can. There you go. Uh, all right. Other corner. Oh, you got to be kidding me. It doesn't. It, um... Well, I see what needs to happen. I don't like it. I really wish this game had a tile system, dude. I really, really do. I've got to scoot individually every single one of those fridges back just like a, a, a couple inches. I will do that. It's worth it. I originally I wasn't gonna care, and then I thought about the idea of the of finally being done with the series and having an ugly looking store, and it was just too much to bear. The thought was too much to bear. It was like a way way too big of a bear, like a like a grizzly bear. OCD is kicking in. Uh, pff, okay, warning. You get one warning before you get banned. <laughs> one. Uh, there you go. Okay. I'm kidding. I, like, well, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding about hating the OCD shit, but I am kidding about being that strict about because you clearly weren't here earlier when I said it, so it's fine. But we don't do OCD jokes here. I don't even have OCD, but we don't do them because they're annoying. At least for the people I know who have OCD describe them as annoying. Okay, I need to scoot that back. If I can manage. There you go. All right. Now I just need to slowly. <sighs> Isn't this fun, guys? Grabbing the fridge and trying to not click on the stupid, dumbass products inside. Isn't it like. Don't you love it? It's a heavy burden. Have an ugly store. That's exactly right. You've never been more correct about anything, probably. I don't know you personally, so it's hard to say, but. 
Ironically, yes. Yeah, I am enjoying myself a little bit. I <laughs> thought I'd be annoyed by that. Okay. Nice. It's weird to have the fridge section in the middle. It'll be great when we get the other expansions, then it'll be in like the direct center. It'll work a lot better. And then we'll buy another round thing of shelves there. It'll, yeah, it'll work out. We're gonna have a bunch of empty shelves. Um, I forgot about this, man. We're gonna have a bunch of empty shelves. And that. And, okay, there is still some space. There's three products worth of empty shelving here. Um, we're gonna have a section that's all one product at the end. Okay. Next product license. Game's chugging a little bit here. Fabric softener, paper towel, toilet paper, toothpaste. Purchase. More books. Purchase. There's two licenses left. We, there's a two for there. Get out of my way so I can click the scroll bar. Thanks. Okay. Um, God, there, we have so many things. We, there were six once. There were once but six. Two fabric softener. Two paper towel. Two new toilet papers. Two toothpaste. Two books. Two books. Two books. Two books. Two books. Two books. Place order, and then I'll let my uh, my guys put that where they want to. Wow, it takes them a while to like get back to it. I was look at look at how long they just like. Man, sleeping on the job. Why did they do that, man? Why? What is the reason? Okay. Well, anyway. Um. Now. Oh, this, that's just like the normal restock, which we also do have to do. I'll go ahead and do that. Lots of chores today. This is the first time in a while where we don't just have like the restock and then simulate for the rest of the day. There's like actually a lot of shit to do here. I'm going to start being a little quicker with the restock if I can help it. Mm, try not to be exact. Once it like decreases in horizontal height is when I'll restock instead of just filling everything up. Uh, whatever, it's fine. Um, okay. Nice. 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 This is a nice playlist I enjoy. Except for that one song that I immediately talked shit about. Uh. Oh wait, I don't think I, I did, um, yeah. Said some products had no space. Oh. It was a glitch. Okay. Now, I need to go ahead and lay out all my new shit. So, this is that, and then... I don't know what's new. This seems new. Yeah, I don't remember ever placing this. Wait, no, no, no. Yes, I do. I think. Hold on. Let me, let me see. It's like the black bottle. Yeah, this is old. It's like back a few scrolls. I don't know how far. Oh, it's actually, wow, it's farther back than I would have guessed. Okay. That's old. Um, that's old. This is, yeah, that. And that is that. And there's more of that. What is this? Oh, this is more Musaka. Okay, so I've just really screwed the ordering in a lot of places. Um, here we go. New product. Compact. Uh, what, what appears to be toilet paper. Or paper towels, I mean. Um... We did not have more room for products. They just weren't fully stocked, is what I'm now realizing. Okay. 
Um, these are all full. So yeah, let's start loading up these, uh, these new shelves here. That seems like a great candidate to have a whole shelf for itself. Because they're going to go quick. Yeah, we're absolutely doing that. Gotta move fast before they put it in a new spot. Come on! Cool. Nice. Bow, bow. We'll do all the prices at once at the end of the day. Okay. Done. Now, next thing. This is like a new kind of... Some kind of fabric softener, I think. Um... I'll give it a double because we don't have that many products left and I want to fill out this store. Um, cool. Okay. Uh, so that's that squared. And then This is another paper towel, or this is, is this toilet paper or paper towels? This is toilet paper. Jesus. Okay, whatever. Um, there's so many kinds of toilet paper now. Paper towels and other such products at my store. Uh, okay, that's taken care of. This is a new book. It's called Croc with the little smiley. I like this one a lot. <laughs> Potentially my favorite book uh, that that we have. Yeah, gotta be. I, I don't think it's much of a contest. Um, where's Croc? Here's Croc. Yeah, this is, I'm like a huge fan. God damn, I love that. Okay. Yeah. It's a yes from me. It's a golden buzzer, honestly. This is, what is this, toothpaste? Toothpaste. My, uh, my sources are telling me that it's toothpaste. God damn. Okay, there's a lot of toothpaste. A lot of toothpaste. Okay, that is the max. Okay. So now everyone can be minty fresh by the time they leave my store. So that is that rack covered. Let's start from the bottom. We've got a uh, Piticha. It's another little, little, what appears to be a picture book. It's a cat. Nothing on croc, but. Um, beep. And then we have Once Upon a Time. Some little fairy creature. And then we have Vintage. This one's just called, it's just called Vintage Storybook. That is the title of the book. It's interesting. Uh, okay. Next is the surprise book. <laughs> you open it, it's just a map with coordinates. <laughs> well, that does seem like a surprise. Breaking news. Wichita child missing. Ta-da! Okay, let me set all my prices. 12 bucks. 10 bucks for the surprise book. What a small price to pay. 11. 10 bucks. Surprise is the book you're giving when, when you're ex expecting. 
It's true. I was also about to say they spoiled it with the title. Because, like, now I'm expecting a surprise, and it's no longer really going to surprise me. Croc is, is the cheapest on the shelf for a reason. Uh, not because it's the worst, but because it it's for the everyman. Uh, okay. $19 for a paper towel. Is that supposed to be the barcode? Oh, yeah, they just really screwed up the uh, generation of the label, so the bar that's the barcode right there. Wow. That is one hell of a barcode, dude. That's a pillar code. Okay, well, anyway. Fabric softener. 10 bucks a pop. Toilet paper. Uh, 19 bucks a pop. Tooth pa toothpaste. 8 bucks per pop. All right. So that, that's uh, those two. Oh, I can go ahead and do that. That's those two product licenses done. That leaves two. Um, one for cakes and chocolates and things, and then the last one is all about booze. Oh, I gotta stretch. Ugh. Let's see if I can go ahead and afford that next product license. Cake, cake, chocolate, chocolate, sugar, and yogurt. Done, dude. Uh, game is really chugging. The when I try to menu around. Okay, two cakes. Two cakes. This cake is expensive. Chocolate. Chocolate. Sugar. Yogurt. Purchase. Okay, 99 is not the cap. We're up to 100 and climbing. Okay, I'll give them some time to sort themselves out. We're about to finish that side of these. They're going to start coming around to the other side, I believe. Yep, that's correct. I was correct in that notion. They run so fast. It's gonna go on ten times speed. But I'm sorry, I just ruined the magic for you. I shouldn't have said anything. My mom just said red or green grapes. Red grapes. Please. I love red grapes. Alright, are they done? I think they're done. Okay. In that case. Let me, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. La, 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 la. I like when they all have the same size boxes. It makes it easy for me. I accidentally ordered five of something. No, 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 stop, drop it. No, no, no. Stefan Michael, you come back here right all right. I'll deal with him later. All right. Prairie cake. Um, but then there. Cool. Um, we're doing double, double shelves for all of these. I canceled that, right? Yeah. Okay. We're good. Um, that would be on this end. Prairie. That's this one. Uh, looks pretty tasty. The name being Prairie and the logo being a flower makes me think it's just going to taste like a lawn, but... These ones look fancy. Fancy pants over here. Fancy cakes. What what is what does it say? Is a they are petite oh they're madeleines. I could have guessed that from the picture. How foolish of me. Um next. Let's go ahead and do that. This one, whatever it is, it's twelve. There's twelve of them. I think they're chocolate bars. I think it's assorted chocolate. You're okay, dude. Don't worry your pretty little head. Okay. Um, next. Yogurt. I always do yogurt on the bottom. I don't know why, but it's how I like to live. Don't 
Don't worry, I'll handle it. Look at that. Advanced maneuvers. Cool. Darren. <laughs> we got Darren over here. I think I made fun of that brand name in a previous stream where I said it sounded like it's parents who couldn't pick between like David and Aaron for their kid's name. A, a, a hilarious joke and I and I did a great job. <laughs> okay. What's left? Uh, I don't know what this is. Is that a cow on the front? What is this? Is this just like, oh, it's chocolate powder. That's right. Oh, it, this one's glitched out. It doesn't stack. It just like goes into the other one. Okay. This is the kind of thing they would have fixed in that update recently, but I suppose, I suppose I'm the stupid one. Can you move around at 10 times speed? You can try. It's like impossible. Seven bucks, whatever. Uh, five bucks. $6. Why are these cakes $30, dude? What is the purpose? These are also $30. It's insane. Okay, and that's all, that's all taken care of. I've done all that. I just got to do the yogurt, I, I think. Two bucks. All right. Just like that. Oh, wait, let me go ahead and... Bump. All right. Just like that. Look at this. Look at this. One product license left, and then we'll have every product, every single one. And then it's just a matter of expanding <laughs> and getting all the storage. I need one milli, just about, for the growth. For the storage, I need... This one, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I, I did the last one mentally. Now I just want speed. 7750 plus. We're almost out of time on the stream, dude. Eighty thousand four hundred. So it's, it's it's overall gonna be just over a million dollars because the the growth stuff was just under a million dollars. Plus, I need the last product license. So yeah, I need like one point one million dollars, one point two million dollars, something in that region. I think one point two. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna quit the desktop. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna jack with my mod even more. I know some people are gonna be so mad about this when the video goes up because like this has gone from like quality of life mods to just cheating the game objectively but like at, we're at a point where there's no game left because it's automated it's just wait for the money to come in so i'm not gonna tell on myself i'm not like this part is not gonna make the final cut i'm just gonna show all these fast forward clips and then be like all right i have all the money now so as long as y'all don't tattle we're good all right 10 times multiplier on money <laughs> Boot up the game. We have an hour. We have an hour. We have an hour to get it done. Oh, the mom said, sorry, I'm on my way back now and I got green. You say, that's okay. Smiley face. I like all grapes. Continue. Okay. My store level's at max, so 100 is the max. I have maximum store level! Ah! <laughs> Yay! Wait, 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 wait. There was, there was a, a notice. There was a notice. Is something not priced that I don't know about? Dude, that's just grabbed three of that book. Okay, I'm gonna look around. Check the price on everything. Make sure everything's priced. That's all priced. 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 
Price to price. Couldn't find something? Yeah, it's only natural when I have 800,000 things to lay off. Such a dick. Okay. Uh, that's priced, 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 priced. What was not priced? It's like a product. Are you going to tell me what's one or is it some stupid guessing game? Foolish. Foolish. What is not priced, man? Books are priced. What's we selling in this aisle somewhere? How long have I been selling something without pricing it? Because now we're into like old products. These are no longer like new additions. Oh, I'm also selling refrigerated or maybe frozen. In my deli cabinet? Nay. Over here. This stuff is relatively new. Oh my god, what even is this? Oh, it's, it's a kind of Parmesan that I just never set the price for. Is that the only thing? Yep. Okay. Look at the lines, man. Ever since the update broke the employee training mod, uh, it has become the purge in here. I'm still selling a product without setting its price? What product? How is that possible? Oh my god, whatever this is. It's another cheese. Christ. Alright, well, I'm going back into my corner. I'm going to watch you all until it gets dark. I know the checkouts are full. It's because my guys are stupid. Dumb. Okay. All right. Now let me see if I can navigate to um, outside. <sighs> Made it. Okay, and now I'll just sit here and wait for them to be done stocking. <laughs> I have $149,000. It's just that easy. gameplay thanks guys there's 203 people here after all this that is so funny
Still hard at work. I miss the employee training mod. I wish it worked. Let me check Nexus right now and make sure they didn't update it. Um, employee training program, uh, posts, 16th of July, pound mod got redone, I love it if we can name workers, oh, did they fix it? Is it fixed? Maybe okay. Let me let me look at uh files. Oh, there you go. Uploaded July fifth. Now works with the new game version. Oh. Okay. Well, then after this day, we'll do that. I'll just wait until they're done. All right. Well, we're gonna have our 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 employee training back here in a moment. Man, they really take a, a while, don't they? I'm going to actually go back to normal speed and turn the lights on just to see how how much work there still is to be done. Yeah, I stopped buying lights, so like part of my store is really dark. This actually works with the music quite well. Um, Yeah, there's still a lot of shit to... Man. Yeah, they just meander around. And Are they done? Wow, they were that close to being done. Cool. Okay. Um, neat. So now, save, quit, download. Oh, I got to log in. Jesus. Okay. Um... When do you put it, or where do you put it? Installation. Uh, Bepinex, I guess. Yeah, Bepinex plugins. Okay. Um, extract. <laughs> Did it pay them? You bet. I'm afraid so. Um, browse local files. Pepinex. Plugins. Bang. Play training program. This changes everything. I, I'm assuming that because I had to re-download, they're going to start back from level one again, which is a shame. Um, yeah. They're all level one. Uh, but they'll get XP pretty fast with all the work that they do. Uh, I'm going to let them do whatever they were. I thought they were done doing their stuff. But what could they possibly have left to do? Oh, I just got hit by a car. Oh, they're like barely even doing anything. Okay. Well then I'm going to go ahead and restock. <laughs> Uh, one there, three, two, two, one. Oops, too many of those. It's fine. Who cares? Uh, bop, bop, bop. I 
I can jump so high in this game. This is like the most off-putting thing. Like it's convenient for me. I love it, but it's bizarre. I've got like an insane vertical. Uh, severely underpaid. Yeah, it's pretty insane. Well, in this mod, they, they have you um, pay them more as they get better. So it eventually reaches a point where I think it becomes legal. But in the base game, yeah, there is never a point where you pay any of your employees a legal wage. Assuming that this is a U.S. Uh, establishment. Which is a big assumption because a lot of this packaging seems foreign. But I don't care none. I'll say they're underpaid if it supports my liberal agenda. Uh, it's one, seven for one. Three, 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 one, 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 one. Have y'all been keeping up with the uh, one-sided beef on TikTok right now of a bunch of people in, in Generation X who have this really, are doing this really cryptic thing where they're calling for like a, a quote, rise, like the Gen X rise. Uh, what's that about? What is that? What is that about? Why? What do you mean by rise? What is happening? What are you doing? I don't understand it. And I just keep seeing all these TikToks people being like, oh, let me fill all you Gen Zers in on, on what we're calling the, the Gen X rise. Like Gen X is some, some of is the strongest people on this planet. I'm gonna have to see if I can find the TikTok. It is really confusing. You know, let me just look it up on my phone and I can fill you all in myself. Gen X rise up. Yeah, it's a lot of, um, it's really unfortunate. There's a lot of like people in Gen X on TikTok are making these posts where they give themselves like a bunch of face paint or something and cross their arms in front of the camera. And it, it says like Gen X rise, who's with me? You know, the person that says Gen X rise up. For those Gen Zers that don't understand the Gen X rise. Understand the Gen X rise? Let me explain it to you. Growing up, our mamas and daddies didn't. This is a parody. I need to find the original. It's a lot about. A lot of it started because. I'm really mad. At, I don't understand it. Well, a lot of it started because. Uh, th that thing that happened years ago where some millennial folks just st invented the idea that Gen Z is trying to cancel Eminem. Um, I don't know if you remember that. It was years ago. It resurfaced when Eminem released more music. Um, Eminem recently released a an album. And if you have couldn't find Wombat Book, somebody just said and then stormed out. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you have heard it, it's basically Eminem's new album. It's basically a concept album. Uh, if the concept is sucking is the idea. And it has a bunch of like really corny lyrics about like, yo, what are you going to do? Try get us canceled. And then he has these bars where he's like, yo, deaf people suck and blind people too and cripples. And in the background, he's doing ad libs where he's like, yo, stop. You're going to get canceled. And then all of these, it like resurfaced it. And then all the, all the millennials, <laughs> all the millennials are now making TikToks saying like, oh, why did he do that? Like all the, I remember there's this one where it was like some millennial made the TikTok where they were like, oh, the Gen Zers are like getting offended and trying to cancel Eminem while we're just here vibing to sweet nostalgia. It's like, what are you talking about? Nobody's trying to cancel Eminem. They're just saying his music sucks and his bars are corny. And then he fell off a decade ago. It's like, it's insane. And that sparked this whole like Gen X rise thing. Yeah, there's this TikTok that's just labeled. It just says, this is an account called Simon Gen X with a hashtag Gen X. And then a, a text label on it that says Gen X next to the dude's head. It says, when you realize Eminem's new song, Troubles, about Gen Z, some feelings are going to get hurt. So then, all of the people on Gen Z are doing 
And let me just say, this is not a positive thing, but this is just what TikTok has bred our generation to do. And that is make really convincing satire. And it's just shooting everybody in the foot because what's happening is this endless cycle where someone, some Gen X person will make a TikTok being like, yeah, Gen Z's not gonna be able to handle this. And then Gen Z people will make tic like satire TikToks where they'll stitch it and pretend to like cry about it. Where they'll be like, all right, I'm, I'm, this is my blind reaction to Eminem's song Trouble. And then he says like, deaf people suck. And then he start going like, oh my God, like crying. A joke, clearly. But like, if you're not well-versed enough on TikTok, it's pretty convincing satire so then a lot of gen x people would be like hey, see told you and it's like an endless cycle it's insane i i highly suggest you you go down that rabbit hole because it's literally hilarious convincing satire well it's convincing to older folks it's not convincing to people who grew up on tiktok and have to become really well versed in like picking up misinformation and satire that's just like how we're i was free about gen x as a generation it's because they've always been so inoffensive stuck between like baby boomers and millennials but um now they're they're coming out the woodwork <laughs> it's really confusing yeah I just look up Gen X rise up and then scroll it is historic <laughs> It's a shame because they were always like the only generation that wasn't memed on and now they've gone and done it. It's hilarious. Well, this is fun, right? <laughs> the forgotten generation claps back. There's no back. They just started clapping at nothing. <laughs> like a blind dog. It's so confusing. And I'm not going to say that, like, Gen Z is morally righteous because that is not true. Like, they love to escalate and it's always a problem. But, like, I just don't know where this came from. Like, who started the idea that Gen Z is trying to cancel Eminem? His music just sucks. His bars are corny. It's like the, the epitome of millennial rap. Of it's like It's like puns. It's like Dr. Seuss rap. It drives me insane. End day. $120,000 in profit. And they're, look at that. They're already level seven. Already. What level do they need to get to before upgrade? Is it like 20 or something? Training. Um, what is it like 15, I guess? Oh, no. 10. It's 10. It's 10. Um, where are my other ones? This is cashier one and two. What about the uh, what about the other two cashiers, huh? There's there's uh, there's four of them. Oh, restocker. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I figured it out. Okay. Um. Anyway. Like obviously. I'm I like, prime Eminem. Yeah. He, great. He has a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of good songs, a lot of hits. Eight Mile, good, love it. That being said, he's been circling the drain for a little while here. Very funny. Very, very funny. I might leave most of that whole, uh, what's the word? Tangent. I mean, might leave most of that whole, like, diatribe in the final cut. I'm sure that's where I'm going to lose a lot of people on this video. But it's just so funny to me. I can't help it. 
That whole phenomenon kills me. Every time I see videos about it, it's so funny. This is TikTok where women role play is being confronted by the news of Gen Z canceling Eminem and then rapping. Oh yeah, that's like the most historic. That's like that became when there was that weird millennials versus Gen Z beef that started and has yet to die and probably never will. Um That was like the poster child. That was the the ringleader of it all. It was um she like played like a, a tight beat from YouTube and was like Gen Z's trying to what? <laughs> it's <laughs> it, it, it's the funniest video I've ever seen. Potentially, that's not true. There, I've seen a lot of really funny videos, but it's up there. It's it's up there for me. Um, and then it's like the worst flow you've ever heard. Where it's playing, she's like, "Listen, listen, little kitties. Let me make this quite clear. I, I it's it was around even before you were here. She like forgot a syllable in before because it couldn't fit the rhymes <laughs> or the the rhythm of the song." <laughs> So funny. Another one that I... That's in your required readings before coming back to a Twitch stream of mine if uh, you haven't seen it. That's in the required readings. It's so funny. <laughs> oh my God. And she's like putting the lyrics on the screen and anytime there's a swear, she asterisks it out. <laughs> there's a line where she's like, better yet, go and put yourself in time... Or it's like, go and put your ass in time out. And then on the on the screen, it's like, A, hey, asterisk, asterisk. <laughs> The best video of all time. Please watch it. Please, please watch it. <laughs> it's so funny. I should probably just pull it up. No, no, no. I, I, I there's only like half hour left on the stream, and I've, I've got to get it done. Um, okay, another day. Open says me, and uh, yeah. Okay, well, this is our time to do it. Let's go to Google Chrome. Um, TikTok. I'm sure it's gonna blare hey, something. God, <laughs> to an impression of Joe Biden. Um, Gen Z trying to cancel Eminem. Full song. Here it is. Here it is. I, and I will say. I will say. All the respect to this person for n not taking the original down. A lot of times when people upload a video and it gets flack, they take the original down. This person, all the respect to her. She never took it down. And that I, I, I appreciate more than anything. Like, respect more than anything. Like, I will still dunk on it, but it's great that she kept it up. Yeah, please do not hate this person. We are simply, this is a celebration. Gen Z's trying to what? It's too loud. Cancel Eminem. Gen Z's trying to cancel Eminem? Honey, that's cute. Listen, little kitties, let me make this quite clear. This man was around even before you were here. So what, you're all mad because the man was a lyricist while all your rappers are a mumbling gibberish? No, go ahead and shut your mouth. Better yet, go and sit your ass in time out because boy was running laps even before you could walk. Hell, boy was spitting balls even before you could talk. So no, afraid you're null in, boy, dear. I'm afraid your opinion don't matter here because one day you'll grow up and see how everyone went and forgot about Z. What? That's it. One of my favorite videos of all time. Oh, Capture said butt instead of ass. Oh, so she didn't censor it. She just. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love it. Such. Such a good video. I, I hope the people who saw it for the first time enjoyed it. Because there's truly nothing better. I'm going to see if I can find the. Um, Gen X Rise original. Gen X Rise. This is not the original, but it's still good. This is what they're all doing. Gen X Rise. I don't know where it's coming from. Gen X Rise. 
that little eyebrow going up is so funny. Why do you do the Wakanda forever? <laughs> this is the original. X, folks, are the toughest people that currently exist. Like no, give me the original. Oh, I can find it. Oh, is this someone who's gonna it's corroborate? Toughness, it's attachment trauma, and Gen X needs therapy. Fellow oh, shut up! Here, who was also a latchkey kid. Here's somebody who said, I sold my body for drugs in 92. That is an overshare. You're on TikTok. What are you doing? I've been itching for a fight since then. We need to rise up and take TikTok. Gen X gang. And then... <laughs> I don't know what it says about me, but that, that the first thing I thought of when I saw this was the Confederate flag because it's a rectangle with an X across it. But like, there's a lot of flags that are a rectangle with an X across it. So that's... I should get my mind out of the gutter. But, like, <laughs> all right, this is the original. For those Gen Zers out there that don't understand the Gen X rise, let me explain it. The Gen X folks are the toughest people that currently exist in our world today. They are emotionally tough and they are physically tough. I am the oldest millennial. I was born in 82, but I had an older brother, so I was raised as a Gen X kid. And let me tell you a little bit about how we were raised. Nobody was watching us. Nobody The long gap between cuts are awesome. Nobody gave a flying flip where we were <laughs> or what we were doing. We had to flip. be home when the street lights came on. The and, street lights. You know, our parents just kind of expected These that people we would are so horny for street lights. <laughs> that's that's an a little aside. Like, <laughs> never shut up about the idea of like, my alarm is the street lights. We were out till the street lights came on. And if you weren't home for supper, praise be. So funny. Literally kills me. And so naturally, and this part is mean. I will say this part is, is mean. People are stitching her. With the like face more filter. For those Gen Zers out there that don't understand the Gen X rise. <laughs> for those Gen Zers out there that don't understand the Gen X rise, let me For those Gen Zers <laughs> out there that don't understand the Gen X rise, let me It's awesome. Awesome. The day is still going. How is that possible? Oh, I guess people just keep coming in forever because I technically haven't closed. Oh no, it was just like a really long day. All right, well, I'm gonna give the uh, restockers some time. Um, yeah, so funny. It, it is mean, cause like the face reveals that they're clear, they're clearly trying to poke fun at the fact that this girl in the original has like one eye Gen that's Zers visibly higher. That don't understand the Gen X rise. <laughs> Let me explain it. So that part is mean, but like, man, <laughs> the top count on that one. Which one? For those Gen Zers out, for those Gen Zers, for those Gen Zers out there, I'm gonna cry when I got a tattoo. For those Gen Zers, oh, Gen X rise to the age of retirement. It's true, it's fair. Epic rap battle of the history: Gen X versus HDMI cord. <laughs> it's awesome. It's great. Yeah, they're all using this uh this like face more filter. Oh my god. It's a pleasure. It is so so funny. So funny. The dude doing the Wakanda forever. <laughs> Might be my sleeper favorite part of the whole phenomenon. <laughs> so funny. I'm starving. But I'm sticking it out because I want to beat this damn game. Our parents didn't know where we were. <laughs> it's a bad thing. <laughs> It didn't make you tough. 
didn't make you tough, I should say. <laughs> There's a difference between being tough and then just being like emotionally desolate. <laughs> yeah, he didn't make you tough, it stunted your development. <laughs> And to be fair, I can't say shit about stunting development as someone in the generation who literally grew up on the internet, which is as stunted as your development can be. It's just funny. I am I can laugh at it, and I will. One of my stalkers is gone. Hey, let's play a game. Let's go find him. Where do you got? Found him. Okay. Okay. All right. We're up to 379. Man, we're still not even halfway to the... Okay, well, just for the sake of, of doing something. I am going. All right, let me resume my music now that we're done with uh, the Gen X rise. <laughs> I'm going to buy the final product license. All booze. Purchased all licenses. I'm also going to go ahead purchase all storage sections. All that remains growth. Music's pretty loud. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for letting me know. I'm actually really bummed out because now all that footage is unusable. <laughs> Ugh, okay, whatever. All that remains is 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 this. That's it. That is literally it. Okay, let's see. What what is new? Uh, beer, blonde ale. Starting from here. Two of those. Two of the, I'll just click twice for each one. It's faster. We got wine. Wine and whiskey. We're finally selling wine and whiskey for the first time. Okay, I'll let them... Uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, I'm also going to go ahead and... Uh, Do that. So they're now middle. And they're middle rank. Okay. Uh, and now, let me go ahead and let's see. Where did they put them? All in here. We got wine, wine. Oh, they're all double bought. That is so convenient. Oh, except for that one. So it's one, two, three, four, five. There should be one more somewhere. It's up there. That's annoying. Oh, there's two more. Mm -hmm. So this came with seven products? I thought it came with six. It did come with six. What am I missing? Oh, this is an old one. One of the ones that's up there is an old one. That was an overflow. I see. That's an overflow. This is what's new. Okay. We got BK. Burger King. Burger King, uh, what is this? Ale? Beer or something? Something another. BK. Um, thanks, man. Appreciate you. Uh, okay. We've got BK. Try to show my dad the Gen X thing and I'd explain what TikTok filter was. Yeah, this is, it's awesome. be a bit how long it, how loud it was. You're absolutely right. I will actually keep it in because that'll be really funny. <laughs> we got wine. This is exciting. We're going to put it all right under the toothpaste for some reason. Can I have that back? Thanks, man. Ugh, Freddy Fart Hole something another. That's right. This is so exciting. I've unlocked all the products. I've unlocked all the products. All of them. Every single last one. The day to be alive. Give me that. No, you may not. This stuff's going to be pricey, and I'm pumped for that.
Uh, why am I here? What am I doing? Okay. Uh, bop, beep, bop. We got whiskey now. It was kind of stupid of me to put all of the cool shit on the insides when you're looking at it from here. You don't actually see any of the <laughs> product. We're going to, yeah, we're going to relocate. Um, yeah, we're going to put the wine on the top shelves and the whiskey as well. I can also just do that and then they'll, they'll do the stock for me. That's what I should start doing. Um, let me grab this. I don't have to worry about this because there's not enough wine for them to do that. Uh, thanks, man. Um, and then, yeah, I'll put these. Oh, it's a match. That's a shame. Okay. In that case, let me... Thanks, dude, for your time. Let me... Go ahead and remove this. Okay, well, now we have all this boxed beer. It's just kind of sitting. What size box is the boxed beer? Oh, it's the flat one. Okay, yeah, we do not have any of those. That's a shame. Um, all right. Scrambled the egg and put ketchup on it. Uh, yeah. You're a mad scientist. Has the egginess of eggs. You're not an egginess fan? Egginess is the best part of eggs. I don't like eggs. So... Whoops. So how about that shit? God damn it! Okay. Um. Oh. Okay. I almost just did it again. <laughs> okay. Ta-da! It is a shame that after unlocking everything... Uh, there's so much empty shelves and I could reorganize if that had to be the case, but you guys probably get the gist by this point running theme. Um, do not have the energy to do that. The wine is significantly less expensive than I thought it would be. Neat. All right. Done and dusted. Okay, so now that that's all sorted, I have to do my restock anyway. So, do that. Um, yeah, I, I guess I'll be beating this off stream. I, it doesn't make me sad that you guys don't get to see it be done in real time. No, we're doing it today. I don't care if I have to go a little bit long. Well, I kind of do because I'm really hungry. Yeah, I know what we're doing. I know what we're doing. Uh, it looks like there was a poll that was made called Do You Like Eggs? And yes, one with four votes to just nobody care. <laughs> There's like 200 people here. Oh, okay. It was canceled immediately. I see. Um, okay. Forgot to add shit. Oh, I see. Do you wear wigs, core? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go ahead and vote in this egg poll. There we go. I placed my vote for no. I try so hard. I would pay an egregious amount of money to like eggs. I've tried everything before you say try blah. I've tried every instance of eggs. I've tried every additive, every method of preparing. Every I can't I can't 
eat them without immediately having to throw up. I've tried everything. I've tried everything. And I, I know even when I say that, people are still going to be like, then you haven't had real eggs. Or like, you just need someone to prepare them, right? I can't. I'm sh and I, 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 I try so. I would, I would pay so much to like eggs. They're everywhere. They're in every breakfast food ever. They're like convenient and they're good for you. They have lots of protein and they're cheap to buy in mass, relatively. For people who are like you're privileged, um, relatively cheap as food goes. I would do just like devilish things. To like eggs. I can't do it. I never said breakfast food is the normal food for my breakfast. I I have to have breakfast food for breakfast or I feel bad. <laughs> like ill. Are you allergic to eggs? No, it is a it is a both texture and taste thing for me. No matter how they're prepared. Literally can't do it. I tried like just doing exposure therapy and trying to force down eggs every morning and, I, and it never got better. So I had to stop. Maybe years later. I'll be able to handle eggs. Save. Quit the desktop. Here's what we're doing. I want to finish this game on this stream. Um, I've been doing like, like I've, I've booted my, um, my money cheat thing up to 10 it's gradually over time. I am now at a point where my game boost config file has the money booster set to a 10 times bonus. I've just set it to 80. <laughs> Okay. Come on, capture, pick it up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, capture. The one thing I won't miss about playing uh, Supermarket Simulator is how many hoops you have to jump through for OBS to recognize it as a, as a video game window. It still isn't, I'm like, Blown away right now. There we go. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, let's see how much money we make. We have two hundred nineteen thousand dollars right now. Man, imagine having to do this normally. This is we're about to see eighty days more than because I have a customer boost. More than eighty days worth of playing this game, and it's probably gonna be like just barely enough to max out. can't express how much I miss Club Penguin. I was never that into it. I was never into really any, like, of, oh, we have a glitched out restocker. Uh, I was, oh, there we go. I was never that into any of the, like, MMOs. Cause I, I just never really had fun with any of them. I don't know why I would get bored too fast on all of them. Except with Pop Tropica. I loved Pop Tropica, but the only parts I cared about were the single player parts.
Yay. Up to 700k. Folks, according to my calculations, we now have enough money saved about to max out the size of, of our supermarket. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I way overshot. Nine. It broke all my walls. God damn it. Now it's back to piss yellow in parts. Okay. Here's the thing though. Look at this. Licenses. Purchase all licenses. Bills. I'm going to pay all my bills because I have the money. All bills are paid. Growth. Purchase all sections. Hiring. Maxed. Storage. Purchase all sections. Customize. That doesn't matter. I didn't get the achievement. Thanks for the fart. I didn't get the achievement. I have no... I'm debt free. I have my, like... <gasps> no, I got it. I have it. Achievement unlocked. The greatest. Purchased all expandings. 2.4% of players have this achievement. Folks, I know it might be anticlimactic given how ugly our store looks in this current state. But we have completed... 100% and I mean 100 of Supermarket Simulator max store level everything purchased every possible upgrade bought all the employees all the products are on shelves we got the crock book even ugh And it just, it took a little over a month to get it done. And all it took was only 28 hours of playtime. Uh, but if I didn't have mods, it would have taken hundreds, hundreds of hours. Truly so proud of this community. Truly so proud of myself. Less proud of my employees. They did a very they, they did a very bad job. Um I guess I'll need to take some time in my own time to completely um overhaul this store. And uh yeah, redo it all. Because I want it to look perfect at the end. So, on my own time, I'm going to fully decorate the store. Fully. Um, probably each product will get two rows if there's room. Um, I'll, I'll organize everything. I'm going to completely redo. I'm going to box up every shelving unit, throw it out, and then I'm going to plot out everything. Slowly assemble the whole store. It's going to take hours of my time. 
Uh, but I'll do it. And then at the beginning of, of next week's stream, next, uh, next Thursday, I'll, I'll give you guys a tour. And... And that'll be the end of Dupermarket. That's it. Dupermarket. We, when we started, I had two empty shelves, one checkout counter in my computer, and a tiny piss yellow room. Crazy how things change, huh? Crazy. So yeah, I'll, I'll plot. I'll do some plotting as to how we're going to arrange this store, but... I, like, truly, truly thank you. <sighs> it's done! Oh my god, that took not even that long. But it was so fun. It was truly so fun. That game was so fun. I didn't even, it's weird. I'm so attached to it. It feels like, this feels so, such a, like a momentous occasion. I only spent 28 hours on this, man. Well, I've spent significantly more script writing and editing and will continue to spend more time script writing and editing. That is uh, in the elite club of games on my Steam profile that have the 100% ribbon. Uh, I believe it's actually one of two. Uh, let me double check. I've got Wobble Dogs. I've got Supermarket Simulator. I have the the, the blue ribbon. Um, I'm going through. Yeah, that is. Uh, that seems to be it. I don't think I'm even really particularly close on any of the other ones. Um, I have 68 out of 88 on Rocket League. I have missing like seven or eight on Stardew Valley. Um, yeah. Yep. Just those two. And now, I'm sure a lot of you would expect me to spin the wheel to decide what we'll be doing next week. That will not be happening. I will not be spinning the wheel. And the reason I will not be spinning the wheel is because I have a project that I have been anticipating for a while now. You know, the Papa's journey, I've been I've been bouncing location to location and I haven't I haven't been spending a particularly long time uh, at any one. And it's been it's been all about the perfect day. Or, or lack thereof. Um, a very all or nothing approach. I've decided that I will be returning to where it all started. I will be 100%ing Papa's Bakeria and reaching day 100. It's going to take a while. Considering how long each day takes. I'm going to do everything there is to do in Papa's Bakery. No, I don't care how long it takes me. I'll be doing it. And we'll see how many perfect days we, we manage to rack up along the way. It's going to be a grind. I know. I know it is. So that's what I'll be starting next week. Next week. I don't know. I'm going to boot up right now Numuki Browser so I can see like how the game tracks completion percentage. Because um, I truly am curious. And we'll be starting it from a new file. I'm not going to be... Oh, Jesus. Okay. I don't think, I don't, I don't think this is coming through to stream uh anyway uh i will not be picking up where we left off on the 100 run uh, it's gonna be fresh file who made the starting screen uh i made the drawing but i i had some help animating it 
by some help, I mean I paid someone to just do it all. Because <laughs> I, I don't know how to animate. Uh, but I drew it. Okay. I've been considering um, getting a uh, like a 60 FPS. like Because it'll be a lot more expensive and take a lot more time. Once I have some, some money to spend on commissions, uh, I've been considering looking for an upgrade on this and finding someone make like a really really like high budget high quality 60 fps animation with like cool lighting effects and everything okay i'm opening papa's bakery right now just so i can check uh like how the game tracks completion percentage i don't know if um if it if there is even a completion System. I know Charlie made a video where she 100 percented a Papa's game, so I'll have to message her and ask like how the game tracks it. Um, let's see. Uh, Thimbus. Yep. Uh, what is it? This is info. Stickers. Oh, it's a stickers thing. Yeah, it's, it tracks it. 20 out of 90, 22%. So it's just earning all the stickers. So things I haven't done in this includes reach summer, reach autumn, reach winter. So I just need to play like a long time. Unlock all the toppings, unlock all the toppings, all the toppings, all the toppings. It seems like the only thing that'll happen um, naturally for the most part. I feel like we'll reach that and then we'll get to the, the wacky shit. Okay, so it's a stickers thing. All right, gang. That's it for me. Thank you very much for your time and consideration. Thank you for not only bearing with me throughout this supermarket journey, uh, but truly embracing it fully. I cannot express to you how much it means to me. This video, when it's done, will be the best video on my channel. This just happens. I say that a lot, but it's because as I do it, I get better and better. In terms of editing quality of like sound mixing and 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 that kind of thing, this will be my best video on my channel. At least in terms of just overall production quality. I literally did this whole project because I felt like it was built for the algorithm. If this video flops, I actually will be extremely depressed. So so there's a lot on the line here. It'll, it'll, it'll really put me into question in terms of my future on YouTube. Ideally, that doesn't happen. So, I'm going to work so hard on it. If it flops, I don't even know what to think anymore. Okay. I love you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>